everybody, this is Praxis, and it's been a while since I did a video uh, about uh, the work I've been putting in on the house. Not because I haven't been working on it, but because, I don't know, I just don't care, to be honest. <laughs> I know it's not a super popular series, it is from some of you guys, uh, but I, I, you know, I apologize for not uh, keeping you up to date on some of the projects that I've been doing, and there have been a lot of developments. Today, I'm working on the grout uh, on all these cracks in the floor. Now, if you recall, when the floor uh, was poured in here, the people that poured the floor uh, took a saw after they got it all flat and they made cuts um, from different points of the floor to other points of the floor. The reason that they did that was because as the floor settles, uh, you know, and compacts everything underneath it, or you know, uh, you know, expands and contracts and everything, there's going to be some cracking happening. And they uh, run the saw through it so that they make these weak points so that the cracks will happen in, uh, you know pre-planned kind of controlled areas and the cracks would be you know underneath these saw cuts. So after the floor kind of finishes that process of settling and compacting and all that kind of stuff, uh, the idea is that you, you go and you grout these up. Uh, the floor that we uh, poured had like kind of like a brownish color to it. I've uh, bought some grout that has kind of a similar uh, color to it. It's not at all a perfect match. And it doesn't have to be because once this is all done, what I'm planning on doing is kind of doing like a, a stain pass. And I just use regular wood stain. I've done that in the past. Uh, you know, anyone with experience can tell me that that's wrong. I shouldn't use wood stain on uh, the concrete. But I found it worked just fine on the, uh, the last house. It lasted for 15 years, never wore off or anything like that. So just using regular wood stain seemed to work out pretty well. I would uh, mention that as I was putting down though, I did them kind of lightly uh, because if you put them down really uh, thick, uh, they can kind of uh, clump up and not really uh, soak in properly. And the other thing is you want your slab uh, when you're painting it or whatever concrete you're painting uh, to be reasonably warm. Uh, if the uh, the concrete is really cold, it's going to kind of make the oils in the oil-based stain, it's going to make them congeal and, you know, it's not going to really penetrate into the, uh, the concrete as well. So, uh, you know, I made sure I was careful about those things, but uh, outside of that, it worked worked out really well. I'm planning on doing that again, and that'll kind of cover up some of these little lines and things. So I'm going to do kind of like a sponging pattern, make it look kind of natural or, or, and uh, organic, almost like it's some kind of like a natural stone floor. So I'm just going around and uh, and filling all these guys in. Uh, something I'm going to catch up uh, catch you guys up on later is I've done a ton of work on the pantry area back over here. I was having a lot of trouble now that it's summertime keeping it cool in there. Uh, it, you know, I like to have my pantry be around like 60, 65 or so. Well, it was getting up to like 70, even 75. And uh, where that is coming from is, well, it's, it's burned into the, the uh, you know, the ground over there. So I've got like good underground temperatures are, uh, you know, coming from the backside, but I put a couple of things in there which were really raising the temperature. Uh, I'm going to talk more about those later, about why, uh, you know, I don't, I don't like using the word mistake because I just didn't know all the information at the time, but I think I'd do it a little differently if I had to do it again. Uh, there's a, a chest freezer in there, and that releases an enormous amount of heat. Uh, and there's also the solar hot water heater in there. Uh, I had a hot water heater in my last pantry. It didn't seem like it was a problem. Well, the difference with the solar hot water heater is you got pipes coming in, bring the heat in. There's a, um, there's a pump in there. You can't really insulate the pump. You're supposed to let that kind of self air cool and everything. So uh, a lot of that heat was venting into the pantry, getting it warm. So I did some work in there. I'm going to share that with you guys later on. But for today, just trying to get this stuff all done because if I am going to stain this stuff, I need to do it in the summer when it's warm so that I can have a, a, a warm slab when I put the stain on. That's it. Thanks for watching.